happy. Are you okay if we film something that's not about cat stuff today? Thank you for your permission. Hey guys, it's Jasmine and that was puppy. Before we get started, if you are into cat stuff or fitness, nutrition for humans, and things about like what this video is about today, then make sure you click that subscribe button below as well as the little bell icon that's right next to it because we do put out new videos every cat or day. Now I'm sure that you gathered from the title of this video and the thumbnail what this video is about, and it is mole removal using apple cider vinegar. For you guys who have been with Cat Lady Fitness for a while and watched a bunch of our videos about cat stuff and whatever else, you know how important it is for me as an almost obsessive independent researcher to share the most accurate information that I can in regards to anything that I research. So at this point, I feel like enough time has passed to where I can most accurately share my results and a review of this process with you guys. Now let me preface all of this by saying I never had an issue with my mole. I actually really liked it. My brother shares the same one, so in my sentimental sibling head, I was like, oh, we share it. Like I would never really care to get rid of it, but I thought, like I said, I'm a fan of personal experimentation and I thought this might be helpful to some people. And who doesn't love an at-home natural remedy that can potentially work and save you an expensive trip to a dermatologist? So basically consider me in this video your guinea pig and then you can have a more educated guess on the steps that you want to take. And I will say, especially if it's something on your face or on an area of your body that you don't want to risk scarring potentially, I strongly, strongly suggest going to a medical professional or making an appointment with the dermatologist where they can just cut it off or freeze it off in one swoop, super simple, and you don't have to worry about any of the potential risk by doing it at home yourself. Plus, it's just honestly the more responsible thing to do. Basically, if you just wanna be safe and make sure that it isn't something that could harm your health or potentially be more hazardous than simply a mole or a beauty mark, then you probably want to go get a biopsy, which only your doctor can do. So let's get started and let me tell you exactly what I did and how long it took and the results that I saw. Now, all I needed and all I used for this was apple cider vinegar, extra virgin organic coconut oil, a strong adhesive bandage, the regular ones would not stick, and cotton balls. Now something I almost forgot to mention is manuka honey, which was an important part of my mole removal process and honestly something I can make an entire video about on its own because of all the benefits. And of course, can't forget about good old trusty Q-tips. Something I did forget to mention is the Vaseline, which is incredibly important to protect the skin around the mole that you're trying to get rid of, and you'll see why in a minute. But look who decided to join us. He's such a good boy. Okay, so first, get out your band-aids. You need just a tiny bit of the cotton ball, just about the size of whatever it is you're trying to remove and then you saturate it, soak it in the apple cider vinegar, and I just squeezed it out a tiny, tiny bit. And since I filmed this after I actually did it, we're gonna do a fake mole. So what you do is get a bunch of the Vaseline, a good thick layer surrounding all of the skin and covering it up around the mole very, very well. And then you're going to take your soaked cotton ball, put it right on top of the mole or spot, and then cover it really well with the Band-Aid. And I would put this on before I went to bed at night, and then in the morning, I would take it off and gently wash the area with a little bit of soap and water. And just a little courtesy warning for you guys from Puppy, because he is so considerate. Some of the photos and video that I'm gonna show in this process may be a little graphic for any of you who are somewhat squeamish, so fair warning, just in case. All right, so here you see the before pictures. I tried to take them from a couple different angles. The left is from the front. The center picture, you can see just about how far it stuck out. And I've had this my whole life, so it's not anything that's changed or grown or anything. And then the one on the right, you can see just for comparison's sake for the size, there's a Q-tip I'm holding up right next to it. These pictures show day two, which is the first morning after the night where I put the 
apple cider vinegar treatment on my mole. And you can see there's not much change. It looks a tiny bit flatter, just a tiny bit. And you can just begin to see the irritation around the skin, especially in the left picture. But this is because I didn't use the Vaseline right away. And you'll see how important it is to use it because it will prevent you from getting the same kind of irritation that I did, hopefully, if you start using it from the get-go. So here is the morning of day three. You can see that the skin is a little irritated around it and it looks like something's happening with the mole. There's little tiny holes that are forming because it is being burned from the acid. And again, I wasn't using the Vaseline at this point either. I was just putting a pretty thick layer of the coconut oil around the mole, which also did make it hard for the band-aids to stick and that's when I switched to the stronger type band-aids. And here's day four and day five. You can see a little bit more progress with something happening with the burning off of the mole, but also the skin is looking a little bit red, a little more irritated. And here we have day six and day seven in the mornings. And this is the first super strong example of why it's so important to protect the skin surrounding the area that you are trying to treat. Because again, apple cider vinegar is an acid. It is a very potent, products and especially the skin around the neck which is where I did this is very very gentle and a little bit thin so you can see that I got the effects of this and I started using the Vaseline a good layer of it on the evening of the 6th so you can see that on the 7th it's still bad but it looks like it's not as bad but when it comes to the actual mole you can definitely see here that it's continuing to progress and this is when you can see the left side of it is a little bit darker and that's because it was scarring into a little bit of a harder piece of the entire thing and here you can see it even more clearly on day 8 how that left side is a little bit darker while the right side is still being eaten away and there on day nine, you can see that it is moving around to more of the entire mole. And again, during the day, I just let it breathe. I didn't cover it with any kind of bandage, but I did put a little bit of coconut oil mixed with Manuka honey onto the entire area every morning after I rinsed it off with soap and water. So here on the mornings of day 10 and day 11, you can see that hard scab had pretty much covered the entire surface of it but the outside edges were soft and still being burned away. So it basically just seemed like any kind of wound that was trying to heal by protecting the top part of it. And here, day 12, day 13, again, it was really, really hard, uh, a lot darker, and basically just like a hard scab that was getting ready to fall off at some point. And you can see here, day 14, 15, and 16, not much change happened. It was still slowly progressing and seemed to be getting flatter but there wasn't any major change. And this is really interesting because if you've been researching this and seeing the testimonials or experiences of other people, a lot of them choose to keep the apple cider vinegar treatment on 24 hours a day and then they have results within, let's say, a few days, even four or five days I heard, or a week. I wasn't in such a rush and I also wanted to be careful knowing how potent apple cider vinegar can be on the skin, especially thin skinned areas. So I'm really glad I went about it in this overnight only type approach. But nonetheless, I was getting a little bit skeptical because even though there's obviously something happening, it seemed to be taking quite a bit of time and a lot longer than anything else that I had read when it came to other people's experiences. Because here we are at over two weeks and it's still there. So on day 16, I decided to be a little more proactive about it and I used a Q-tip with some of the coconut oil to very, very gently kind of see if that hard scab would come off and it did. You could see it started to, but I didn't want to force anything. I didn't want to pull it off and, and have any bleeding or just do anything unnecessary because a lot's already happening on this area. So then after the coconut oil, I took a very, very saturated Q-tip covered in Nuka honey, which has antibacterial, antifungal properties, plus it helps to keep the area moisturized and avoid any kind of scarring. And again, I rubbed really, really gently around that area to see if that little hard piece was 
ready to come off but you can see even though there was some progress by doing this it was not ready to completely come detached so I just left it and let the area breathe again that day like usual now here's day 17 you can see that it's almost completely flat except for a little area at the bottom that kind of seems to be sticking out and here day 18 the left picture is after I took off the bandage and gently washed the area with soap and water and the right picture is after I did that coconut oil and manuka honey kind of q-tip trying to raise up the scab again and you can see that the whole thing actually came off and it came off pretty easily so now to me it seems like the mole was basically gone at this point point. and here's the next three days in a row so we're at about three weeks now day 19 20 and 21 and you can see that it is just progressively healing it seems like at this point so this is where I wasn't sure if I should continue on with the apple cider vinegar my skin obviously was very very irritated the band-aids were starting to get more irritating and it was basically gone so here are the next three days from there day 22 I took a little side angle so you could see that it's basically flat it's just it looks like an area that's healing day 23 and 24 same thing uh, not much change but it's just healing and this had been two or three days since I stopped doing the overnight apple cider vinegar treatment but I was still of course using Using coconut oil and manuka honey on the area every morning and actually at night at this point just to help the healing process and to hopefully help that irritated skin heal faster too now here you see the next day day 25 and then I took a picture one week later and it doesn't look much different at all if you look really closely on the one week later you can kind of see a little bit of gray darkening kind of like on the upper area of where the mole was but I still thought that it was healing. I even thought of doing my turmeric mask on it, which I have a video for, I'll link in the description below, because that helps lighten skin, especially on olive skin. It helps to even out your skin tone and it's also very healing. But I kind of didn't bother and, and just was trying to see how it would go from here. So this is where it's interesting. This is two weeks after my last picture and almost close to a month maybe three weeks to a month since I stopped the overnight apple cider vinegar and you can see I wish I would have taken pictures daily even to this point but I thought it was all over but you can see it, it the coloring basically came back but it's still flat it's just the coloring came back and then I took another picture there you can see three weeks later and the the skin that got irritated and scarred a little bit from the apple cider vinegar around the mole that looks like it's finally getting lighter to match my skin tone but you can see it's like a new flat version of my mole decided to come back and say hello so this is when I decided to put this video off to see if the actual full-size mole grew back and that is what I'm gonna show you now Look who decided to join us. Not really, I, I kind of forced him into this. Say hello. <coughs> All right, back to today, which is about a month and five days from that last picture. And you can see, and I'll put a picture up on the screen, but you can see that the skin around that got really irritated and scarred, that's fading away pretty well. I don't have makeup on it or anything, obviously and that the mole has reappeared, but it hasn't gotten any worse. It's kind of stayed where it was a month ago. And to be honest, I'm pretty happy with how things are now because it was a little bit distended before and starting to get a little annoying, like I scratched it by mistake once or twice, and that's kind of why I wanted to try this. But now I'm really happy because it's still there, it's just not sticking out. And if you guys want to know another update, maybe in another few months, or however long it may be, then just let me know in the comments below because I'd be happy to do that. I'd even just maybe briefly mention it in a cat video or something. And yeah, that was my experience 
using the apple cider vinegar technique in order to remove a mole. I'd love to hear what your guys' experience may have been if you've tried this or something similar and what your results were. Please remember to click that thumbs up if you found this video interesting or helpful. Remember to click that subscribe button below if you would like to be a part of the Cat Lady Fitness family, which yes, is mostly cat and cat lady stuff, but sometimes I sprinkle things in that I think you may find interesting, such as this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to reading your comments and we will see you next week. Bye.